Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to Mzansi Popular Rides. Today's episode is not your traditional review. Today we are looking at a decision on whether to buy a brand new car versus buying a demonstration vehicle on a tight budget. So, for the purpose of this video, we will use the Polo TSI Life as our example. So this is the 1 liter TSI with 70 kilowatts of power and 175 newton meters of torque and specifically we are looking at the manual version. Well then, let's start with the basics. What is a demo vehicle? A demo vehicle, also known as a demonstration car, is the car a dealership uses as a test drive car for potential buyers. This would be the vehicle that when you go to the dealership and request a test drive, that's the vehicle that you test drive in. The secret is that the dealership does not keep this car for too long. Quite often, it is only kept for up to 6,000 kilometers and then moved to the used car segment of that particular dealership. I would refer to this as a brand new used car. So, you're a VW diehard fan and no matter what, you want only a VW. So even if I try to convince you into buying a Haval or an Audi, you don't care. All you want is a VW and you have with you only 400,000 rand to spend on the dot and nothing more. And with that, you would like to get yourself a well-equipped Polo TSI Life. And the most important question to ask is, should you go brand new or demo? Well, stay tuned and find out. The car you're seeing in the video is our example of the Polo Life demonstration vehicle. At the time of filming, the vehicle only had plus minus 4,000 kilometers. It was used as a demo car by the VW Baron's Woodmeat team. As seen in the video, the vehicle retails for 395,000 Rand. The car is equipped with features such as the upgraded composition media infotainment system, panoramic sunroof, digital cockpit with park assist, keyless entry, as well as the Tospi Black 17 inch alloy wheels. This vehicle is a 2022 model, meaning you still get warranty and service plan continuity until 2025. Just as a recap, you'll get the remaining balance of the 3 year or 45,000 km service plan, whichever comes first, as well as the remaining balance of the 3 year or 120,000 km warranty. So technically, you still have peace of mind until 2025, just in case the vehicle gives you any problems. Also, do not forget that you have a 6 months return warranty if the vehicle is defective and you can prove that that is the case. And lest I forget, this particular vehicle is also equipped with the iconic IQ headlights. Now, moving on to our similarly equipped car, the VW configurator illustrated that if you want a well equipped Polo TSI similar to the one in the video, you would be looking at 434,350. And that would already be over our budget of 400,000 Rand. A standard Polo Life with no extras starts from a recommended retail price of 369,700. You then have to add the Tospi 16 inch alloy wheels, panoramic sunroof, digital cockpit with park assist, the upgraded composition media, keyless entry in order to get it to the similarly equipped demo vehicle. And please take note of the fact that you haven't even included the tinted windows as yet. So immediately you can see that on a high level, you'd save almost 39,350 just by selecting the demo vehicle option. And with that being said, I think you can clearly see that in this case, buying the demo car would be the better option. However, I guess the question is, what is the advantage of buying a demo vehicle? The advantage of buying a demonstration vehicle is that you are buying a new car that has been used just a little bit by the dealership. Because it is a demonstration vehicle for prospective buyers, the vehicle will be equipped with a lot of options that you would have to pay for if you are buying a new car. So you are getting a new car that is often well equipped for less than the cost of a new car. The car would also have been well maintained as we all know that the dealership used the vehicle for advertising purposes. It is what we call their best leg for advertising purposes. However, please do your homework. Test drive the car and inspect the bodywork for accidental damage or scratches. 
also inquire and verify the kilometers as well as warranty on the vehicle with the particular dealership. In the case of this vehicle, it was still under warranty and you would not need to worry. However, for you to be sure, you'd still need to get the history on the car from the dealership. So would I go new or demo in this instance? In this instance, I'm sure you can clearly see that going for the demo option would clearly be the best option. I personally would go for the demo and enjoy my well-equipped car. Which option would you go for? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching and for your support. Please do not forget to like, subscribe and to hit that bell icon for more dope content like this.